Apparently Gordon Ramsay made this video. He made this grilled cheese and he got absolutely roasted for making this grilled cheese. A lot of people are very specific in particular about the way they want their grilled cheese from the bread to the type of cheese to how it's melted to the proper amount, all this stuff. And Gordon Ramsay made it a little too complicated. After this video, he made a new one not too long ago. I think it was a couple months back, like a redemption video because the first one was so bad. We're gonna see just how bad this is. Okay, let's go. So I've got some great Italian country bread. In between, I've got some amazing okay. mushrooms. Braised short rib. I'm gonna make an amazing little jalapeno jam. Start off with first cooking the mushrooms. What? Now, when I say I've taken- What? Why is this happening? This is his redemption video of making a grilled cheese sandwich. And now we're hearing about like mushrooms and all kinds of crazy stuff. Bro, just put the damn cheese on the bread and melt it. You have no idea the amount of complaints I've had globally about this grilled cheese. Yeah. However, now we are back with a vengeance. Olive this doesn't look any better. Pan. Okay, and let's get some color on those mushrooms. No color, no flavor. I don't Ice want mushrooms pan. on a grilled mushrooms cheese, dude. In. And lay them you guys want the mushrooms so on a really grilled nice cheese sandwich? Salt, chili flakes, and then okay. just a <laughs> He's little good. touch of olive oil again. Get them roasted. Hold on, I gotta wait now, for a zoom out. This jam, this is a jalapeno. Look, he's he needs one, two, three pans and two pots. He needs three pans and two pots to make a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't, I don't know what is the problem here. And sort of tomato jam. Fry off the peppers, slice them nice. Tomato and jam the with jalapenos? The seeds in these things, okay? It generates more heat. I mean, I can and get on board with that. At this age, they're not really that hot. I okay? can get on board with I want this like a jalapeno so, jam on a grilled cheese. That's, that's acceptable. A touch of olive oil into the pan. And in we go. Now, again, some salt. And He's then using those hex clad pans. Really important. I haven't used those. They look pretty nice. And then inside this jam, just a little pinch of sugar. In we go. Okay. Now, the ginger. Just cut that in half. Nice and fine. I quite like the chunks right. of ginger. Yeah, I still well. live in Portugal. As the ginger starts to cook, it's going to disintegrate and sort of really give a little touch of spice inside that jam. From there, my tomatoes. Just get the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Just cut them in half. And we're sort of going to blister the tomatoes. This is a unique sandwich yeah i would say it's center, a unique sandwich leftover braised short rib so that's going to give a really amazing texture inside and then from there just start your shallot Damn. beautiful get them sauteed yeah Beautifully. portugal's a chill place to live i love portugal make sure we get a lot of color on those mushrooms okay we need the color we need the water to come out of that beautiful mushroom so uh -huh. this grilled cheese remains nice and caramelized. And I promise you this time, that cheese is gonna be melted beyond belief. It's not just about the melting just of the cheese, Gordon. It's all honey. the stuff you're putting oh, yeah, onto this chunky. grilled cheese now sandwich. Now start caramelizing. Now, for the center. This is my braised short rib, okay? And this is- <laughs> Right, yeah, way too many ingredients. from the night before. And all we're gonna do now is just sort of slice the short rib down into layers. That mushrooms getting cooked down, chutney coming together. That comes out into our bowl. I just think a grilled cheese should chutney be a bunch done. of cheese and, and bread and some butter. Beautiful. Drain off the fat. In. But I could get on board with the jam. Beautiful. Now for the bread. Pan nice and hot. Get your country bread and literally country lather bread with mayonnaise. And into the pan we go. Mayonnaise. Did he say mayonnaise? Do you guys put mayonnaise on your grilled cheese sandwich? I mean, what I do is I take the bread and I spread butter on the outside of the of the bread so I can it can crisp up the outside. Mayo? Who puts mayo? Again, I just use butter. Sides on. And just get your press and lightly press down. All right, the bread looks much pans. better this time than the last video, that's for sure. Caramelize. I'm on board with that, that bread. bread. Don't forget to season the bread. Mayo okay, works as a sides. good substitute for butter. Salt. Yeah, I guess. 
That's what we want. Beautiful color. And then on that side, look. Okay. Start, I'm liking the look of that. Seasoning that. A little touch of chili flake. Okay. Now. Chili flake. Right. Sounds I've got pretty my good. Gria, my cheddar and telegia. Three great cheeses. That's going to beautifully melt. We're going to start layering this thing up beautifully. I will say. So my personal preference is just two cheeses: Gruyere and raclette. Raclette is so thick and like creamy and soft, and it, when it melts, it's so friggin' good. Oh my god. You guys got to try some raclette and gruyere together on a grilled cheese. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Right, first off, a generous. Oh, the cheese is going to melt for sure this time. Cheese. Both sides. Yeah. Get your mushrooms. Yeah. And literally form See a See how base. much better this is already? The, the cheese to bread ratio. Just push ratio. Them down in that cheese, okay? Lightly seasoned. Each layer, absolutely crucial to season. And then from there, take your short rib. Short, short rib, rib sits on top. grilled cheese again. Short rib cheese. How do we feel about meat on a uh, on a grilled cheese? How do we feel about this short rib? I I'm on board with that. Ooh man, I mean I made some pulled pork today or yesterday we made pulled pork and we shredded some like cheddar, like white aged cheddar on it. That was delicious. I'm okay with some with some meat on a grilled cheese. I think bacon. Yeah yeah. Ali says bacon. I would do that. I would do that. And Great short ribs, that probably good too. Beautiful chutney, jalapeno chutney, and that just lifts the beef. Jalapeno up chutney, damn it! And jalapeno. Getting hungry. Now, for our mature cheddar, okay, sharp cheddar first. Mature. Oh, that was the third mature cheddar. Again, really important. We season. All right. <laughs> really important. He really chutney. took it to heart about the cheese oh, last time. Oh my, oh my goodness! God, me. look at the sandwich. And then from there. A touch more cheese. Now, on. What? And on. This is a grilled cheese, by the way. That's a heart attack right there. And then finally, close that over. We press that down and we pray, right? That goes melt. in. But oh still, he doesn't have a, me. a cover. All, a touch of butter. I mean, ideally, you want some steam to melt and the cheese. In. Now, we take our press and we push down. Uh, okay, and we'll then see. Very quickly, four minutes in the oven at we'll 350 see. degrees. It's a melt. Yeah. You guys excited? Oh, he's putting in. Okay, he's putting in the so oven. Am there I. you go. The moment of truth. Here we of go. Of course, that's going to melt. That's oh going to be pretty, pretty damn me. good. Come on, Tom, look closely. Nick, look even okay. closer. Look Let's how get much this butter out. is in that pan. Lift that up. <laughs> damn. Oh my Damn. goodness me. On. Oh my god, my arteries are clogging just watching this. Uh, uh. All right. Uh, yeah, that that's a much better grilled cheese, I would say. But still, I have a hard time coming to terms with the fact that he wants to call it a grilled cheese. This is a philosophical question. What makes a grilled cheese a grilled cheese? Is it the fact that it's the only ingredient? That it's only cheese? How do we feel about this?